there are no objections, uh, then we will just administratively proceed these followings and fill the PCO, PCCO. Yes. Yeah. So all of it, Jay. I, I would like an explanation. When, you know, the, the change of accent wall color. Um, how did that happen? What I mean, it's it, it's you know, it sounds like somebody just decided. Oh, we 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 like a different color. You know, it seems like a, a you know a whim and an expensive whim at that. So how, how did that happen? Sure. Um, if I may, Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, I I think um, it's relative in terms of the expense, but. Uh, uh, what essentially happened is, is the swatch that was used was smaller in nature, and so it, in a small scale, it looked appropriate. But once it went on the larger wall, it was clearly not appropriate because the color was um, too bright, as I understand it, uh, and it didn't fit appropriately. So wanted to tone it down a little bit so it wasn't as uh, um, attention-seeking as that accent wall was meant to. Be. So that's that's essentially what happened. And I believe that it was just the small portion of the where the color was going. The whole building wasn't painted. Right? No, it was, it was just, just one. Wall. So it was just the change to to the the pigment of the of the color. So when they painted the rest of the rooms, they'd all be the right color. Well, it was twenty six hundred dollars worth. Of <laughs> that that includes the labor. As well as the change in pigment, right? Anything else, Doug? The administrative fees. Administrative fees. Okay. The grand scheme of things with painting, that's not a lot of money. Okay. So we'll wait for the PCCO, which will incorporate that into the contract. But again, it was signed off by Chairman O'Brien. Next is PCCO number nine for approval of $33,445.10. Again, this is administratively done because uh, it adds the work uh, in, in writing to the contract, but the PCO is authorizing it. have already been approved, 40, 50, 53, and 54. So I'd like a motion to approve PCCO number nine in the amount of $33,445.10. So moved by Alderman Timmons. Any discussion? Alderman Jetty. Yeah. So, um, so this includes uh, uh, the uh, electronic messaging sign. So ha has that work been done? Is it that PCO has already been approved. So this is just the. It's it. it we this committee's already given them permission to proceed. And, and this is just to take the PCOs that have been approved and make them part of the contract. So it's more administratively. This is uh, not a discussion of the PCOs that have already been approved. Okay, so if I could, I, I, I would like to, you know, I, I would like to uh, you know, just say on the record that, uh, you know, we're, we're spending an awful lot of money on a sign that we don't have uh, permission to put up yet. You know, we, you know, we, we, we're, I don't understand why, I mean, if, if you were, I mean, you know, think about it. If, if you wanted to, you know, build something and uh, you knew that it was prohibited by the, or the zoning ordinance and that you had to get a variance in order to go ahead with it, I mean, wouldn't you first go to the ZBA, find out whether or not you can get the variance before you would spend, you know, this is 24000 I think there's more money that we're spending. So just so you know, the, the money's on the sign. The sign has not been erected. The sign has not been, uh, maybe some, but not very much has been spent on the sign yet until it gets all its final approvals. So it's, uh, it's, it's been authorized, but not spent. So... Um, Still has to get all the approvals required, and and, and uh, that's where any further discussion should happen. Okay, so that was my that was my question. You know, is is this money? You know, you know we 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 approved the PCO. Now we're approving the PCCO. 
but we haven't spent any money, and the money hasn't isn't going to be spent yet until we get the proper so approvals. Correct. We can't build anything until we get the approvals of committees involved. So the money's been authorized by this committee. It's uh, and now it's going to be made part of the contract, but it still has to go through the regulatory agencies, and that's where it should be discussed. Again, the PCCO has already been approved. Okay, I misunderstood. I thought we were approving the payment of this money to you know whoever's building the sign. No, so if that's you go out there, you'll see there's no sign. Here. What's that? I said if you go by there, you'll see there's no sign. I, I know there is. <coughs> so but, we don't. We don't. So I, I, I guess I. I thought we were approving the payment of this money, but but we're not doing that right. yet. Right. right. We've we've approved the authorization to move forward with it. It still has to clear any administrative hurdles. Okay. So it's not like we built it and then we go back and ask forgiveness. It's not the way it works. So. All right, but then now this this particular thing before us right now is the PCCO, which is just taking the approved PCCOs and making them part of the contract. It's more of a cross the T's, dot the I's thing. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Other expenditures? Yes, if I could, Mr. Uh, Chair. Certainly. Thank you. So under other expenditures for approval, these are uh, quotes that have come in from uh, Nick Misevich uh, uh, in the IT department. It's all part of the project. This has all been part of the project budget and uh, necessary to be able to um, proceed with the, with the building. So first is uh, approval for um, uh, fiber optics, uh, and that is for $24,415. Um, Mr. Chair, I'm not sure if you want to take these as individual motions for approval. Since it's all IT, unless there's an objection, we can take these as a group after he gets done reading what they're for. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. So with that being said, the next one is uh, a quote for services from Mount Major Tech. This is a, um, a some rewiring that was, was necessary that was uh, unforeseen condition for $1,337.58. Another one is, uh, again, Mount Major Tech, and that's for a change order of $518.74. Um, this was uh, an additional release button added to one of the doors, um, which would help us from a uh, life safety perspective uh, and comply with, uh, with codes. So these are all IT things being worked through, Nick. Uh, are there any questions on, on the IT expenditure? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying, oh, I guess we need a motion to approve mm -hmm. these these three items. I was, uh, do you have a total? I did not total it. Um, <laughs> if you give me a second, I will get a total. Certainly. $26,271.32. Read that one with 26. $26,271.32. Okay, I need a motion to approve the IET changes for the building in the amount of $26,271.72. dollars 32 cents. 32 cents. 32 cents. Can you read my own hand right? Do I have a motion? I would so move. Oh, uh, yes, Commissioner Shea. Made the motion. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Old business? Anything? Nothing. nothing. Nope. Okay. And if there's nothing else, I need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Motion is made to adjourn. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We're adjourned at 3.36 p.m.